Oh man, the day we finally been waiting for has come. It's officially, it's officially May 17th, 11.40 a.m. Eastern, you feel me? It's time to pop, tap in to the College Football 25 official reveal trailer. Yes, sir. Let's get this reaction started, you feel me? Hopefully we won't get copyrighted. Let me make sure it's in 4K. Oh, it's in 4K. Oh, wow. let's, let's lock in. Okay. It's looking like the Boise State uh stadium. Oh, wow. Howard's Rock, LSU, come on. Notre Dame, Florida State. Is this Florida State? Oh, no, that's Boston College. I'm bugging. Oh, wow. The Gator, Florida, LSU, the Valley. Okay. I'm about to get cupped right now, aren't I? I watch the military helicopters. Oh, let me shut up a little bit. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Niggas got the bull. Yes, sir. Wisconsin. Yes, sir. The Trojan. Trojan me, girl. Pittsburgh, Penn State. Oh my God! Look at these graphics. Look at the detail. Look at the facial features. Look at the body sizes. Pulse. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, Juke. Oh, yeah, get through that. Michigan. Is that Honda McCord? No way. Okay, Wisconsin, Texas. My nigga, yours. Bama. Okay. Army. Georgia, okay. Oh, they got the duck in this shit? That's tough. Look at these graphics. Look at my son, Milro. Get in, Jakey. Oh, we just got smacked. Why my shit just lag right there? Okay, my nigga Travis Hunter. I'm not gonna lie. His face scan is not looking all that. Okay. Yeah, Sersky. I'm not gonna lie, that was calm. We would've saw a little bit of gameplay, but can't be too mad. Not gonna lie, that was fire, bro. 13,000 likes, let me add another one to that. Let's see what the comments saying. We waited 11 years for this. Of course, it's the moment we've been waiting 11 years for. Damn, everybody's saying they've waiting, been waiting 11 years. No funny shit. Wow, let me, let me scroll up and ask some, ask some for me. This is exactly what we've been waiting for. Oh, y'all. Yeah. I spell exactly right. Screw it. Since I didn't make a video about this yesterday, I'm just go over it, film your different editions. We got a standard edition that just comes with the base game and a few pre-order uh, pre-order items, and then you got the deluxe edition that comes with the base game and a few more perks and uh, tricks, all that. And then you have the MVP bundle, which comes with both games, Madden 25 and College Football 25, and it comes with all their perks, uh, deluxe edition perks for each one. But instead of paying $100 each for each game, for each deluxe edition game, it's just 150, saving a few, filling a few coins, all that good jazz. EA also dropped a press release detail about College Football 25 official reveal. And starting off here, they introduced a new concept called Campus IQ, which is a suite of features that brings to life the true death of college football through fast gameplay, through all the FBS schools and the game. They also announced that Dynasty and Road to Glory is returning the game which is should have been expected. All right, so further diving into Campus IQ, as you can see, they have a wear and tear system, which means as the hits add up, that players will begin to wear down and tear down. So it has to do with fatigue, health, risk of injury, which could be a problem, and on the field mistakes, which is why having death on your college football team, whichever team, whether you're being a dynasty, on the road to glory, stuff like that, is going to be very important. And then there is pre-snap recognition and home field advantage. And home field advantages in Madden, so it should have been expected to be an NCAA. And obviously with the atmospheres and stadiums of college football, this was expected. Diving in more to the iconic atmospheres, fans will be immersed into the most iconic settings, stadiums, and traditions in college football. If you're a college football fan, you should notice, expect this from the Big House of the Swamp, Tuscaloosa to the College Station, and everywhere in between. The sights, sounds, fight songs, mascots, commentators, unique touches, etc., which is what we saw in the reveal trailer and more should be expected, the pageantry and tradition, and also the commentary and broadcast, which has mainly the ESPN uh, broadcasters, which is five of them. The main ones are Chris Fowler and Kurt Hershey's, which will be calling the main matchups and marquee matchups, where Reese Davis, Jesse Palmer, and David will call the rest of the football games. 
And then next, you have the Chase Call of Greatness, which will have Dynasty, as I said before, Road to Glory, Road to the College Football Playoff, which should be expected with the 12 team playoff, and then College Football Ultimate Team, which should be expected as it is in Madden, and it was in the last College Football game, which is NCAA 14. And then this is talking about fans can pre-order their copy and then EA Play members will get a $10 early access trial on July 16th. The game is supposed to officially release July 19th, I'm pretty sure. So this is basically a three-day early access, which you can also get if you get the deluxe edition of College Football 25. Now breaking down the reveal trailer, I want to start off with the connections to the teaser trailer. As you see here in the reveal trailer, you got the Notre Dame entrance and in the teaser trailer, they showed the makings and creatings of it while they were in the process and development of it. And in the reveal trailer, you also heard the sounds and crowd noises and the player noises. And as you see in their teaser trailer, they had the development of the Gator. And now you can see it in full form, fully developed in the reveal trailer. Now I want to type a little into the intros and presentations of the beginning of the game. You just saw Hard Rock and now you can see the Boston College Eagle statue here. And then now I look at the LSU walkout as they hit, hit the wind bar and walk out of the locker room. Then you got the Army helicopters flying over before the game. And then now you have Wyoming's Eckler and Kerr touching the Cowboy statue walking out of the tunnel. Then you got Texas's real Longhorn mascot going buck wild and crazy. Then look at the detail as you got Wake Forest's Demon Deacon revving the motorcycle. Then you got the big Trojan USC stabbing a sword into the middle of your logo. Pause. And then they even got marching bands as you have the Pitt marching band spelling out Pitt. And then Penn State student section with the S. And you can't forget Iowa's players waving to a children's hospital. And in the teaser trailer, they emphasize how much work they were putting into making the jerseys and making sure they look perfect and detailed and crispy as possible. And I want to show how they fully showed that in the reveal trailer. As you got the LSU players here rocking side to side, Travis Hunter flexing, and then the Michigan players taking a flick with Will Johnson. And then the Miami players throwing up the U. And then Harden from USC flexing the end zone. Then Tennessee, Wisconsin, Bama. Then the Paul Bunyan axe, which Wisconsin gets from being Minnesota. And then Michigan flexing with a championship. Looking at this trailer, you can just tell they put so much work, so much detail, so many intricate facts, details, things that you just don't want to miss. I can't even explain it all. Just look at it, man. They even got the duck and hoop celebration in the game. Hopefully when Ole Miss does this, Jackson Dart doesn't miss. And another part they emphasized in the teaser trailer was the mascots, and I want to show how they did it in the reveal trailer. As you can see, they showed them in development in the teaser trailer right here, and now here's them fully fleshed out as we have Sparty doing push-ups, Bucky the Badger flexing, my son Bevo showing the muscles, then we got Albert doing the Gator Chomp, then Smokey working up the crowd and cheering, then the Ducks mascot waving on the motorcycle. Oh my, look at that detail. Then you got Mike the Tiger. Then the greatest mascot of them all, my son Brutus, who was in the first screenshot ever from college football, which was posted on their Twitter and on the ESPN article. And now for what you all have been waiting for, the cinematic gameplay as it starts off with a kickoff to Appalachian State's Robinson as he gets jiggy and gets free and starts running and then it cuts to Michigan stiff arming up. Ohio State player. Then following that with Kyle McCord, hand the ball to the running back, then the receiver for the reverse. Then you have Rodell Williams running the ball. And then one of the three cover athletes, Quinn Ewers, throwing the ball, cutting to a clip of an LSU dual player doing a one foot catch against Texas A&M. And they also show off a little bit of triple option flex bones with the Army players. Then look at this crazy move from that Georgia tight end. Then Jalen Miller, who I thought should have been one of the cover athletes, doing this, oh my God, he just got his shit popped. But that pretty much concludes the breakdown. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more college football news and videos.